Okay, YouTubers, eliminating the possibility of it echoing or transferring through the drive shaft up into the transmission case. They pulled the drive shaft out of the back of the T5. The drain blew it out of the T5. It still has some in it. It's not completely dry. Until I can separate the two between the transmission and the rear end and see, then the problem has to be between the, imp the output shaft of the tranny and the pilot bushing in the crank. First things first, we gotta get past my cold start lifter kick. I mean, I feel normal engine, you know, I call it normal engine vibration. I can feel like a roughness or some kind of a vibration right here in the back. That I don't feel up here. Back here to the tail shaft, she feels a little, I don't know, crunchy or something. And he's stupid. Everything seems smooth in the middle. Like there's absolutely no. Keep in mind, the transmission is not under load. I do not hear anything. Now here's what we're gonna try next. Previously, with the drive shaft installed, when you came up above idle, for sure between around 1300 and 1600 RPMs, uh, there was a distinct driveline vibration. still either out of balance or vibration I mean that could be anything from clutch and pressure plate to who knows what get up to 1500 she smooths out quite a bit by 1800 it's gone smooth as silk see like what well, right there about 1200 you can see the camera start to shake and then it'll slightly get worse Slightly get worse. I'm trying to go slow, guys. Now she'll start to settle back in. I'm going to have to throw in on this video. I put the car in reverse. With the drive shaft removed and no load on the transmission, a lot that clicking and clattering. That last video I posted uh, showing all that clicking and clattering and weirdness going on, it doesn't do that with the drive shaft removed. Now I do still have issues with the uh, slight vibration coming you know between the engine and transmission between that 1200 and 15 1600 rpms that clears out with a little bit of rpm so that part of it doesn't concern me near as much as the 
severe vibration it gets when it's under load. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Yeah, that's where I'm at, trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do. I got her up pretty, got her up pretty high off the ground. Yeah, I can probably pull the tranny with it this high up off the ground. So I got the front tires on ramps turned around backwards because of the grade of my driveway. That way when I'm putting it on the heavy duty six ton or 12 ton or whatever the hell those big jack stands are in the back, I don't have to worry about them rolling off of these things. So, and of course I just put the jack under there as a extra precaution so I don't end up pancake. Hey, thanks again for watching guys. I just wanted to give you a little update on my process of trying to figure out what's going on with this dang turd. Hopefully I'll get it figured out soon, guys. Thanks.